what I really want to point out, you know, um, when you were talking about, you know, the way people live and, you know, the politics that go into it. John Africa teaches us that in order to be right, you know, to be healthy, to be strong, you have to live in harmony with life. That's the bottom line. And we don't mean that in an abstract sense. We mean that in a very real sense. With the MOVE organization, from birth to so-called death and everything in between, John Africa have given us information and coordinated us to live in harmony with life, at least as best we can, you know, at this time, you know, because things are not natural and right at this point, but we do what we can. And that begins with having babies naturally at home, because having a baby in a hospital is not natural. No other species of life does that but humans. No other species of life spends thousands of dollars going to a hospital to have a baby, to do something as natural as have a baby. Only humans. And no other species of life turns their babies over to somebody else to raise them and school them. Only humans. You know, so what John Africa have put move people in touch with is <coughs> a natural way of living. We can't do everything the way we would like to at this point, but you have to know the direction that you're going in and not be deterred from that direction. You see, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't. You know, um, you cannot want to hold on to certain things in this system and at the same time want your health, your satisfaction, your happiness, your strength. You know, uh, we want these natural, you know, uh, no, we want conveniences. You know, people want certain technologies and conveniences and want to hold on to certain, you know, things in the system, certain standards, you know, of dress or, you know, living certain cars and homes and this and that. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You see, when people talk about move, they'll say, well, you know, what, do you want to go back to the dark ages? You know, you, you want to uh, go back? You know, we're talking about progress. But what is progressive about air being more polluted today than it was 100 years ago? What is progressive about water being 100 times more poison today than it was 100 years ago? What is progressive about the earth being more poison and therefore producing more poison food than it did a hundred years ago? There is nothing progressive about that. If you want to say we're going back, you know, we're going back to clean air, pure water, healthy, fertile, productive soil. You know, our grandparents were or are a hundred times stronger than we are. They could work us under the table, you know? But this is progress. They didn't have all the so-called conveniences that we have, but those running this system, the industrialists I'm talking about, not, not the politicians so much, they, they're nothing but flunkies and errand boys for the industrialists, including the president is nothing but a flunky. He does what he's told by his boss, and we understand that. So when I say those running the system, I'm talking about the big moneyed industrial people who really run the world. And, you know, they have tricked and conned people into thinking 
that we cannot exist without the things that this system puts in front of you. I mean, clothes washers, dishwashers, telephones, cell phones, iPods didn't always exist. And people lived and were healthy and happy before those things were invented. So how come they're a necessity now, you know? And every one of these things do damage to life. See, the one thing that John Africa have taught MOVE is that life, human life, animal life, the air, the water, the soil that feeds us life, every single, you know, aspect of life.